Hello, hi everyone. This is Tushar from Rasayanika. Today, I'll be guiding you in picking up the most important books for CSIRnet. Now, I myself have clear CSIRnet, so I can rightfully guide you through the process. Now, you, as you all might be knowing, that uh, the CSIRnet has three parts in chemistry. We have physical, we have physical, organic organic we have organic section we have a section for inorganic and we have a section for physical so i'll begin with the most important books for organic chemistry first so the most important book for organic chemistry is cladin now now the thing to note for cladin is it's a textbook that it contains all the topics so you must Remember one thing that while you are studying, you must make notes, your own notes for each and every topic so that while revising, you need not to go through each point again through the book. So the most important thing is make notes from this book. You can even practice questions. You have very good questions. And, you know, see from CSI and we get direct questions from Clayton. So while reading this, you should read this book thoroughly. It's a must book. It's the first book that I'm uh, referring to but it's a must have book. You should go line by line through the books. It's very important and make your own notes while reading this book. Apart from this, you can go, you can study the next book that is Karutha. Now, the important thing to highlight about Karutha is, it's a book which has many organic transformations. So that will introduce to you various reagents that you need to study in the process. Because in part C, especially in part C, in CSIRnet, you get questions from Karutha, important reagents. And while reading these reagents, you should note the mechanisms also. You should note the mechanisms, what different mechanisms are present for each reagents, how each reagent is re reacting with the reactants. So you should note all these things while going through. So these are the first books and the most important book that every CSIR organic aspirant should go through. One is Clayden and Karutha. These are the most books, okay? Now the first three chemistry, there are various books, but the most important is, I can say, D. Nasipuri is a very good book. Even P. S. Kalsi is a very good book. But the important thing to note here is, these books are very detailed in terms of the content they cont contribute to stereochemistry. So one should be very selective in reading these books. Again, I should stress on the point that you should make notes while reading from these books because it's very difficult just before the exam to you know open the book and read page by page. So while you are studying these books, you should make note of the important things. Now, one more thing I can uh, add to this because studio chemistry is a very discreet and topic which has a variety of things. So you can also refer to YouTube videos. There are very good YouTube videos made for each topic in stereochemistry, may it be RS nomenclature, may it be all the kinds of different RS for different kinds of molecules, be it enantiomeric excess calculations, everything. There are very good videos. So uh, even before re referring to this particular books, so you can just once go through the YouTube videos. So you just get an idea of what topics need to be covered. And then, yes, for detailed thing, you can go for any of the books. Uh, even by P.S. Carlsy, Stereochemistry and Conformation Mechanism is a very good book. Even you can go for Dean Nasipuri. It's a, it's a standard reference book. I again stress this point. These are reference books because these books have very much detailed information about stereochemistry. So keep in mind while reading these books, you need to be very precise in terms of the syllabus that you want to cover. Okay. Now, again, this, this book, Organic Chemistry, Stereochemistry by Ernest is a very good book. Again, and these books have various examples. At least you can go through the concept, but practice the examples. Practicing examples for stereochemistry is very important because stereochemistry, what it requires the three-dimensional imagination power. Now that will come when you practice more and more questions. So it's important that you go through these books and side by side, you practice various questions because only then only you will develop that imagination to solve those questions. Now coming to the most, another topic, organic spectroscopy now this organic spectroscopy has a very good weightage it's a higher it has a higher weightage in the examination and the best book to go reading about is pavia it's a very good book pavia in organic spectroscopy it has it has various topics like ir 
IR, UV, NMR, NMR also, Proton NMR, 13C NMR. So it's a very good book to go through this. It has also plenty of questions. Now, the problem with spectroscopy is that in organic spectroscopy, you get questions which belong to combined questions. I mean, it will have some concept from IR, it will have some concept of NMR, 13C and all. So it's a basically compound, compound identification questions you have. So in that case, you know, you should go through this book very particularly. And it has for IR, it has, it has a standard tables and all that will give you all the values for the IR stretching frequencies for NMRs and 13C also, it has very good examples. You can practice this examples. So uh, if you, at least if you complete all the examples, then you will have a good hold. You will gain the confidence to answer questions in the exam. Now again, yeah, just another reference book, William Kim. Tavia is good enough to deal with, but still if you feel that you need much more questions and all, you can go for William Kim Organic Spectroscopy. Also, there is a book by Silverstein. Silverstein. The book goes by Characterization of organic chemistry, organic compound, compound, organic compound. So you can go through this book. This is a very good book in terms of questions. It has various problem sets attached to it. It will be having something like you, they will ask for a question which requires multiple inputs from multiple spectroscopic tools. Like it will have information from IR, it will have information from UV, it will have information from NMR. And combining all these informations, you need to find the structure of the compound. So that is important. Now coming to the next topic that we have is pericyclic and photochemistry. Now pericyclic and photochemistry are important topics with respect to CSR. And a very good book is Jagadamba Singh. It is a very detailed book with respect to this. You can, uh, I will advise you first go through Claydon all the topics irrespective of what reference you could follow once you are done with Claydon, you can refer these books these are special books these are reference books for pericyclic and photochemistry to enhance your knowledge further so keep in mind once you are done with Claydon, once you know the all the basics you can go through pericycling and photochemistry uh, jagadamba singh it's excellent book it has it has detailedly explained it properly so you won't have any doubt and confusion in regards to pericycling and photochemistry after going through this book now coming to the next section of chemical sciences, that is inorganic chemistry. Now the must have book for inorganic chemistry is OHI. Now it's a standard textbook for OHI, uh, for inorganic, which means it has all the chapters. So accordingly, once you go through this book, you should go in a detailed way. Again, similarly, I will stress the point that just like Clayden, you should make your own notes because these are textbook. This have all the information, so you need to be very particular uh, in making the notes in, while studying this book. I'll refer this, Ruhi is a very excellent book. It has all topics starting from coordination to bioinorganic. Especially, I'll say that you can refer this book for bioinorganic also. It has been beautifully described in this book, bioinorganic chemistry. So that's a good book. You can also refer Meslin and Tar, but I'll, I'll, I'll refer that first you go through Ruhi. It's a very good book. In case you need much more reference and all, then you can move to Meslerenta. This is also a textbook which contains all the topics. So you can dive into any topic of relevance and get the knowledge from that. Similarly, there are in some good Indian author books. Now, in these Indian author books are written, keeping in mind for CSR exams. So you can also refer the principles in organic chemistry by Puri Sarma Kalia. It's a very good book. It's a textbook. Similarly, it contains all the topic. Uh, again, a very good book for inorganic complete thing is Fundamental Concepts of Inorganic Chemistry by Azim Das, Azim K. Das. We call it A.K. Das. All might have heard about it. So this book has seven volumes. This book has uh, the fundamentals. It has seven volumes. Now, these are reference books. So once I'll suggest once you go by Ohi, it's the must have book for inorganic. Now, once you are done with Tuhi and you feel that you need much more reference book, then you can add on this to your bucket list and go through them. They will, re they will actually enhance your knowledge in that particular subject and give you a better grab over that topic. Now, coming to inorganic spectroscopy, there's a book by Physical Methods in Inorganic Chemistry by Russell S. Trago. It's a very good book in terms of inorganic spectroscopy. Now, it contains topics like Mohs-Bear spectroscopy, 
it contains topics like epr and all and it has very good questions attached to it, them so after reading this books you should practice those questions also so that will give you a complete view see in the total csr preparation you should focus not only on the concept but also on practicing questions because once you practice more and more questions either from this books or any practice notebooks that you get that will give you an idea to how to attempt questions how to make your strategy ready to tackle that question so that is important now coming to analytical chemistry uh, before going to this i'll stress a point that the number of questions that you get from analytical chemistry is very less so while preparation also you should keep in mind that you should have a proper roi a return on investment you should have a proper return on investment on this so you should be very selective these books are reference book they contain entire analytical chemistry in greater depth so you should be very precise accordingly according to syllabus you must work according to the syllabus you should take the syllabus and get jot down the points that are there for analytical, analytical chemistry and accordingly you should study from this book so i'll say very selective study this is a very book book and one must note that the number of questions from this topics are very less so you should be very precise in terms of selecting the topics and going through them correct now coming to organometallic chemistry now organic the entire inorganic chemistry syllabus in terms of number of questions are concerned broadly comes from coordination and organometallic chemistry so the best book for organometallic chemistry is bd gupta it has entirely discuss organic organometallic chemistry at greater length you will get from basic organometallic concept to the uh, to the latest metal carbonyls and all the nmr related information from there so it's a very good book in terms of organometallic chemistry is concerned again for coordination chemistry book by book concise coordination chemistry by re, v ramalingam it's a very good book because the problem with coordination is it has a greater content so you need to be you need to have a book that has all and i can rightly say that the this book by v ramalingam has the entire syllabus covered for the coordination so it's a very good book for coordination chemistry now for the main group elements i can say jd lee is a very good book now jd lee is again a test book which contains all the topics but particularly you can pick up the main group part from the jd lee uh, it will do the job because it has detailed explanation of all the elements and all the reactions into it so this this will quench your thirst for main group element knowledge from here now moving to the last sections of the chemical sciences that is physical chemistry now in physical chemistry talking about physical chemistry we have puri sharma pathania it's a textbook again that contains all the chapters now again as i have stressed earlier also you should focus on making your own notes because these are very thick books you cannot revise later so like same you, you need to go through puri sharma pathania chapter by chapter because it these are made with respect to csr net syllabus so these are very relevant books so you can you need to go through them properly again peter atkins is a very good book for, for this but i'll suggest that you go through puri sharma pathania and pick up these books for references levine is also a very good for book for physical chemistry uh, one more thing i would like to add because levine is a book uh, it's a good book because it presents the topic in a very different way it it's a kind of storytelling way so you need to study it. so if you want to get a feel of the topic so you can prefer levine also it will be a bit length but you will get the complete understanding of the topic from here now kel kapoor is a very good book in terms of physical chemistry because it has various parts and each volume of the physical by kel kapoor deals with certain sections so you can get the in depth complete knowledge from here again i'll say these are this you should treat as a reference book once you complete with puri sharma pathania then if you need some extra knowledge you can definitely refer this books for questions now for physical chemistry it is very important to practice more and more questions so you develop the tendency to approach a question so you should practice questions from such, such books coming to quantum chemistry the most important book for quantum chemistry is physical chemistry molecular approach by macquery so it's a very good book you can go through the concept from here you can even practice question again you can uh, for problem solving there is another book 
by R.K. Prashad. It's the quantum chemistry through problems and solution. So it's a very good book because after each concept, it has questions associated to it. So regularly after reading a concept, you will practice some question that will give you a complete idea about how the topic is. Now coming to group theory, the group, the group theory you can go through F.A. Cotton. This book is very good for group theory. You can go through this book. It has all the topics relevant to group theory, but just stick to, but before studying this uh, book, I'll say once you should go through previous your questions, because this book has a very detailed explanation about all the topics of group theory. So it is necessary that you know what questions have been asked in this topic. So once you go through the previous year questions, you will get an idea. You need to put on the shoes of the previous year questions before you advent to this book. So that's a good thing. Again, if you want further knowledge, you can use also a reference book as a reference book. You can use by David M. Bishop. It's a very good book for group theory. So for group theory, you can prefer F. A. Cotton first. And in case you need further knowledge, then you can go for Bishop. Now coming to physical spectroscopy. Physical spe for physical spectroscopy, the standard and the most important book is Banwell. It has all the relevant topics for physical spectroscopy, Bayes, rotational, vibrational, Raman, and it has plenty of questions, plenty of questions, diverse type of questions. So that will help you in completing the concepts as well as the questions. If you want to learn more concepts or to add on more problems, then K. Vira Reddy is also a very good book to complete this topic. Now, before I end this session, I would stress that books are just like weapons in your arsenal. So you should choose them wisely. I'll say stick to minimum number of books, revise them regularly so that before the exam, you are ready to tackle with the questions. You are ready with the content. You should not feel that, no, I have read so much and at the final stages, I am not able to revise. So you should keep your content limited and you should choose your weapons wisely, smartly. So you should do a smart choice of books and then thank you.